Hello, my name is Jerry Cherry, and my mission on this channel is to help guitarists improve their playing and take the necessary steps to becoming successful. Today, the goal of this video is to help improve your vibrato. You know, to me, having good vibrato is the number one thing that separates guitarists from either sounding like a pro or sounding like an amateur. Let's get you better at it and sounding impressive when you play. So if you're ready to improve your vibrato, please tap on the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and click the notification bell. There are three types of vibrato we're going to focus on. Number one is the finger vibrato. Number two is the wrist vibrato. And number three is a, a sliding back and forth type of vibrato, left to right. I'll click to the close-up camera here. And we're gonna use our first technique, the finger vibrato. So on the C note, just using my fingers to bend up and down, ever so slightly. And I'm remembering where my root note is here. So when I bend up, I'm landing back down on the note, and not sharp, which would sound awful. Sound like, you know, like that. So you wanna make sure that the note you hit, you're coming back down on. using my finger. Now, on all the inside strings, you're able to either bend up or down. It's bending up towards the sky, down towards the floor. It really makes no difference here. See, it sounds exactly the same. The only time that really matters is when you're, you know, if you're on your high E string, right here, you have to bend up, because if you bend down, you're gonna go right off the neck. The same thing with the, with the low E string. You have to bend down, because if you bend up, you're gonna go right off the neck. But all the in-betweens strings, it's up or down. As long as you land back on the right note here. The second technique that I like to use is the wrist vibrato, where I basically lock the, my fingers in place and I use my wrist for the movement completely. So, as I place my fingers on the fretboard, I'm using my wrist like this, not moving my fingers at all. I'm placing and fretting the note. I have all the control on my wrist. So I can really have a lot of control that way with it. So my fingers are just kind of locked. They're not moving. This would be the fingers. This is my wrist. that most of the time. I use my wrist most of the time. But I just noticed that um, here, and just by analyzing this myself, for you guys, I'm learning a lot about what I do. When I hit the low string, it's less about my wrist and maybe more about my fingers here. The third type of vibrato that I like to use and that we're going to talk about is a, a left to right type of vibrato. And it's mostly like a classical type of vibrato. A lot of classical guitar players use. And it's, you're basically just kind of going left to right, not up and down, but left to right. You're getting more of a chorusy effect because it's not really going sharp too much. It's very slight. So I really love the sound of this one. chords with this vibrato. It's 
Let me shake them. So let's put on the metronome for a second. Kind of get into the feel of the vibratos. So my first instinct would, would be to just kind of kind of hitting the note and I'm just kind of feeling the the style of vibrato that I want to use or the tempo that I want to use without really analyzing it too much I'm just kind of I mean, you can think of it as like a 16th note. Okay. Or a triplet feel. Da, 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 da. Or an eighth note. it like that before, but you can kind of come up with some really nice vibratos that way. Think of Leslie almost. Leslie Cabinet. vibrato tips helpful? How do you feel about your vibrato? Leave a comment in the section below. I'll be posting a new guitar tips video every Wednesday so please tune in. I have some cool new videos coming up that will really take your playing to the next level. So once again, if you like this video, please tap on the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and click the notifications bell. Also, please check me out on all my social media pages and my website. There are plenty more guitar tips videos where this came from. So remember, be cool, be kind, and be cherry. <laughs>